3, the European Academy of Pediatric Dentistry defined criteria to distinguish MIH from other white spots as well as from other developmental defects of enamel. And the first criteria is the marcated opacities. There are always the marcated opacities, of course, in different degree, on different teeth. Second, there are, in some cases, enamel breakdown. And this occurs after the eruption of the first permanent molars, and when the first mechanical loading is performed on those, on those teeth, they break. Especially if the lesions were initially brown or orange yellowish, because the darker the lesions are, the more demineralized they are, and the more fracture prone they are. So, enamel breakdown is an important part of hemorrhage. The third criterion is atypical restorations, very large, extensive restorations, including, for example, the coccyx. But MIH, as a developmental defect, does affect coccyx. And then they break, and the result is an atypical restoration. Restorations including the whole surfaces of a first permanent molar in a teenager. Look at this crown, a horrible crown, and a typical restoration on a teenager. And the fourth criteria is molars missing due to MIH, especially if the other molar shows some signs of MIH, like enamel breakdown, maybe some atypical restorations, maybe some opacities. With a prevalence from 2 to 40 percent, depending on the research. So far, we can say that in most studies, in most countries, is there. It's not a problem only of high income countries. We can find MIH in Mexico, in Africa, everywhere. So it is a wide and general problem, and with a prevalence around 14 percent. 12 million new cases per year. Several hundred million people is affected by MIH, which makes it a potential public health problem, especially when it affects the quality of life of children and adolescents. At least one in six children is affected by MIH. In this study, they found no difference comparing boys and girls. And the highest worldwide incidence was before 10.